This learn by it is on Juno's Python Easy. This is a high level installation overview and system test where we do a hello world. My name is Stephen Elliott. I'll be your host. The learn by it allows us to look at the Python Easy test environment we set up. This involves using VM Workstation, Ubuntu, and also Firefly VMs. Inside Ubuntu, we have the Python interpreter version 2.7, along with most of the libraries. We did have to install some additional libraries. For example, the Junos PYEZ library we had to install, along with several others. And we will then take a look at testing that environment with a Hello World example. For setting up the Python environment for Junos automation, you can start here at the link for the tech wiki for .juniper.net for automation scripting for Junos OS PYEZ installation. That would be a good starting point. The demo lab we set up for the learning byte here uses VM Workstation 9.02. It also uses Ubuntu 12.04.3 LTS. This is an ISO image we downloaded off the internet and then we create a new Ubuntu VM with it. Ubuntu has a lot of the Python libraries built already into it so that simplifies the installation and setup. For Python we're using version 2.7. From the Juno support site we downloaded Firefly SRX. This is an OVA file that we imported into VMware Workstation. It is version 12.1 x46-d20.5 so this along with the Ubuntu environment will allow us to have the necessary components we need for the lab. It's good to always test connectivity between your VMs here. I'm testing Firefly uh, SRX and I see that I can ping from Firefly to the Ubuntu server so that tells me that uh, I've got uh, connectivity there also need to make sure the Ubuntu can at least talk to the network as well. With the Ubuntu server VM we're able to ping out to the gateway so connectivity looks good for both. There are two ways to test the Python easy setup. Number one is you can use a text editor like nano and create a Python file and then basically execute it using the Python interpreter. The other one is to launch the Python interpreter and then type the commands in one by one. Our first command in the Python file is to import pprint, a utility that we use to print out to the screen here. So from pprint import pprint is the command. We've installed the Junos Easy Library, so now all we have to do is import it in for use. So we issue the next command from jnpr.junos import device. The next step is to create a connection to our Firefly SRX VM. We use dev equals device host equals 192.168.2.193, the IP address of our Firefly SRX VM with username, login, and password. The next command after that is going to be use dev.open. Once a connection has been made, Junos Easy automatically pulls down a number of pieces of information about the SRX device. In this case here all I have to do is a pprint dev.fax in order to get the information um, that was pulled down. And then the last step we're going to do is close the connection with the dev.close command. 
With this general test, we can then go and launch the Python interpreter, which will execute the Python file we created. Uh, we type Python space the name of our file to do that. We call it easytest.py. It then loads up the libraries. It then executes the connection once the connection has been open, and then it will then do the dev.fax um, command and provide us with the basic information that was pulled down from the connection which include things such as the host name, the model here which is Firefly and also things like the serial number and also the version of Junos that we're using. Another way you can test is by doing direct command line into the Python interpreter. We start the Python interpreter by typing python and the version here is 2.7. That then takes us to the command prompt for the Python interpreter so we can then start typing in commands. So we're going to replicate what we did in the Python file. So from pprint we import pprint. Next is import the Junos Easy Library. The next step is to open up a connection to our SRX device. Same information that we got when we did the pprint dev.fax command in our Python file. In the command line for the interpreter, we get the same information. If your interpreter ever gets hung up, you can do a control C, which is keyboard interrupt. And in this part here, we're just simply going to close the connection with dev.close. From here, to get out of the compiler, we do a control D, will get us out. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses, learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths, Juniper Networks certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence, and the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.